Spoilers ahead. The season begins with the confession of Raphael Valland, a failed film director while everything is captured by a behind-the-scenes film crew. This is his story. Raphael or Raph is shooting his directorial debut film to honor his grandmother, who was a member of the French Resistance. Unfortunately, even his grandmother is not happy with him. He chose his childhood crush, Ingrid, to play his grandmother's role, but his grandmother wants Bernerl's daughter, Josephine, to perform her stunts because Bernerl is the buyer of their livestock. Raph has low social skills and feels like the other crew members don't care much about him. Especially Robin Jacomet, who creates a scene with him and refuses to obey orders. So the producer, Jean-Marc Torosian, advises Raph to assert his authority as a director. He attempts a speech, but due to his poor communication skills, it goes terribly wrong. Unfortunately, someone records this and starts blackmailing him and Jean for money. Stressed, Raph prepares for the next day of stunts with Josephine selected as the stunt performer. However, he forgets to hand over the controller to the stunt director, causing an accident. Josephine is taken to the hospital, and Raph heads to her home to inform her family. Her family has arranged a surprise party for her first day of acting, unaware of the accident. They hide to surprise Josephine, and Raph hides as well to avoid ruining the party. Later, Raphael has to explain everything to Josephine's parents. To avoid a lawsuit, they sell their livestock to Bernerl at a much lower price, making his grandmother even angrier. That night, the blackmailer releases the video on social media, causing a huge scandal. Robin Jacomet leaves the crew as the main actor. With the negative publicity and the loss of the main actor, their top investor, Nora, threatens to withdraw unless they find a new actor and the mole responsible for the video. With no other options, Raph becomes the main actor. After analyzing CCTV footage, he and his assistant, Magali Vérez discover the mole was wearing a vermilion sweater. They begin searching for someone with a red vermilion sweater. The crew faces another issue with Ludivine, their makeup artist, whose bad breath causes conflict. Ingrid openly complains, leading Ludivine to mess up her makeup, and Raphael fires her. To regain his reputation, Raph appears on Claire Chazal's TV show to tell the truth, but a sudden bout of diarrhea forces him to the restroom, ruining the show. Nora leaves the crew, nearly bankrupting them. Without any other choice, Raphael tricks producer Jean by using his childhood friend Tom as a fake main investor under the name Bart Abe. Raphael discovers that Nora's son videotaped the speech and uses this to blackmail Nora into reinvesting. However, Jean kicks Nora out without knowing Bart Abe is a fake millionaire, it turns out the real perpetrator is not Nora's son, but an unknown person who hacked Nora's son's videotape. As Tom starts an sexual affair with Ingrid, Raph loses control and hits Tom, knocking him unconscious. He hides Tom's body in his trunk and drives to the jungle. While shooting, the crew learns their set is destroyed. Reluctantly, our protagonist agrees to shoot at his grandmother's farm, where real events happened. During the shoot, Raph discovers his grandmother helped the Nazis, not the French resistance. When she criticizes him during a shoot, he reveals this, causing her to die of a heart attack. Raph forgets about Tom and quickly grabs food to head to the jungle. Meanwhile, Tom escapes the trunk and tries to attack Raphael with a log, but changes his mind after hearing Rafa's emotional speech, thinking Tom is still in the trunk. The log accidentally slips and hits Raphael, knocking him unconscious, few hours later the friends reconcile. That night, the crew stays at the farm due to bus issues. They play, truth or dare, revealing dark secrets. Tom mentions his past with Raph, exposing Rafa's plan involving Bart Abe to fool everyone including Jean. This ends their film shooting. Raph auctions his grandmother's belongings, earning millions to repay Jean. 
They notice the handwriting on some insurance documents matches the blackmailers. They arrange a party to collect signatures to match handwritings, but an accident burns the sign book. Fed up, the crew watches a documentary by their co-director, Slice, about their experiences. They realize Slice is the only one who didn't sign and confirm his handwriting matches. Raph confronts Slice, and they fight. Slice blames Raph, who gives an emotional farewell speech, apologizing to everyone. Impressed, Ingrid kisses him, and Slice records this as usual. Suddenly, Slice falls from the roof, concluding the season.